गुड इवनिंग टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज वाई फाई वर्जन नंबर्स सो द कंटेंट्स आर लाइक दिस इंट्रोडक्शन लोगस ऑफ ओल्ड नेमिंग कन्वेंशन चेंजेस प्लान वॉट आर द वाई फाई न्यू वर्जन नंबर्स एंड फाइनल इज द कंक्लूजन introduction so if you look at the past days wifi versions were identified by a letter or a combination of letters or a pair of letters you can say that refers to a particular wifi standard for example 802.11 ac 802.11 n so at 02.11 a or b or g these are kind of so if you look at a wifi router you may not need to go through the specs uh the reason is uh, sometime it will be written as uh, it's 802.11 ac supported like this but if you really want to do, go to the specs you will clear under, clearly understand that uh, it support it supports 802.11 ac and yeah, abc etc like this and the symbol for that one is uh, the logo for this one is abc wifi and ac whatever it will be supported so so there are the some of the logos uh, i have found for the old naming convention this is for ac supported that's why it's written as wifi ac 802.11 ac if it is supported up to n and wifi certified so you will form it as a b g then n b g n like this do you know the reason why it's labeled as uh, uh, on the left hand side of wifi uh, alliance symbol why this abc comes and uh, on the right hand side why this n and ac comes the reason is abc standards are called the legacy standards i mean the old standards okay uh, n and ac they are the uh, updated versions of the legacy one so that's the reason uh, abc comes on the left hand side and uh, n and ac on the right hand side so ac is the latest wifi standard which is uh, going on okay so coming to the next slide what the change is planned the reason was the old naming convention was uh, not uh, comprehensible that is the main reason wifi alliance planned to changing change this so going forward wifi is going to adopt the versioning system version numbers so so that what will happen it will be easier to tell whether the router or device you are buying is on the latest version so this will be giving a very clear picture so that they ch change the naming convention so all of those code names are been changed so coming to this uh, wifi new version numbers instead of the current wifi being called 802.11 ac it will be known as wifi 5 all your days we were uh, we were calling it as 802.11 ac now onwards it will call as wifi 5 because this is the fifth version of wifi it's very simple the mapping the num uh, versioning number mapping is very simple as uh, ac is the fifth version that's the reason they came up with uh, wifi 5 this probably make uh, more sense in this way starting with the first version of wifi that is uh, 802.11b so if we will look at one by one this 802.11b which came in the year 
that is called Wi-Fi 1. Then Wi-Fi 2 that is the second generation that is the second version that is 11.11a which came in the same year 1999. Then Wi-Fi 3. Wi-Fi 3 that is third generation that is the third version you can say and that is 802.11g that came in the year 2003. Wi-Fi 4. Wi-Fi 4 is nothing but 802.11n that came in the year 2009. So don't get confused with 2.4, 5 gigahertz. Whoever comes under 802.11n that is called Wi-Fi 4. It's very simple. Wi-Fi 5. The current ongoing version of Wi-Fi is called Wi-Fi 5 that is 802.11 AC that published in the year 2014 and the upcoming version upcoming version of Wi-Fi that is called Wi-Fi 6 that is 802.11 AX which is going to publish in the year 2019 okay so these are some of the naming convention uh, if you look at the generation of network connection, so this is the picture. See this Wi-Fi 6 certified. Wi-Fi 6 means as we say in the previous uh, slide that is Wi-Fi 6 means 802.11x it will be like this. So similarly you can map your Wi-Fi 6 means this is 6th generation this is very this this is also a logo this is for certification and this is the normal logo and this is for ac which is the current ongoing version wi-fi 5 and this is the logo and wi-fi 4 that is n this is the logo it's very simple it's very convinced now so these are the new version numbers we looked at into so now instead of wondering whether AC is better than N or if the two versions even work together, you will just look at the number mentioned over there. Is it 5, is it 4, or is it 6? Okay. So obviously Wi-Fi 5 is higher than Wi-Fi 4. So obviously it's better. And since Wi-Fi networks have always worked together, it's somewhat clearer that Wi-Fi 5 devices should be able to connect with Wi-Fi 4 devices too. What I mean to say is, obviously the device which is going to support Wi-Fi 5, it has to support Wi-Fi 4, Wi-Fi 3, Wi-Fi 2 and Wi-Fi 1 as well. So at the bottom line, I would like to say the backward compatibility should be there. Okay. So, if you are going to purchase a device called Wi-Fi 4, so no need to ask anybody that is it supporting Wi-Fi 2? Obviously, it has to support, okay, because of the backward compatibility feature. Technically, Wi-Fi 1, Wi-Fi 2 and Wi-Fi 3 are not being branded because they are not widely in use, but uh, I have labeled how it would look for clarity okay so uh, the reason it is not uh, widely used is they are the legacy devices and uh, if you look at the data rate that is uh, very less that's the reason uh, that is very less and uh, as it is not uh, under widely in use that's the reason these are the things not uh, branded till date and finally the conclusion the Wi-Fi Alliance even wants to see this branding go beyond the hardware okay. so this is the requirement of Wi-Fi Alliance saying that whatever hardware is coming to picture in the future it has to mention with the new naming convention new name new versioning system so in the future when you connect to a Wi-Fi network on your phone your laptop whatever appliances you are going to use your device will tell you that Wi-Fi version you are connected to 
which kind of uh, which device you connected to what is the Hawaii web version of that particular device so you will know that the next generation of Wi-Fi with the promise of faster speeds and better performance so when I'm handling multitude of devices I mean crowd of devices okay so it was supposed to be called uh, 802.11x but now it will go by the name Wi-Fi 6 as per the new naming convention. So also Wi-Fi Alliance says that it expects companies to adopt this numerical advertising in place of classic lettered versions. So this is uh, all about uh, the naming convention, new naming convention of Wi-Fi. So thank you so much for watching this presentation and if you like this video please uh, like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you so much.